all in a million pieces. All right guys, so my friend Peter sent me this jet intake. And for those of you that don't know how this works, you have your propeller right here. And this, the whole purpose of this is to channel the water into this thing and this gives you the propulsion. So this system is superior to any other system because it can operate in extremely shallow water. Our job is to cut aluminum out, bend it, and copy this intake because I have to give this back to my friend. So yeah guys, I guess let's go ahead and jump right into that. All right guys, so I cut two of the hardest pieces first. This being the back flange, and then this is the bottom flange. So what I'm probably gonna do is get some paper and cut these plates out and then bend them, and yeah. Alright guys, so it's actually coming out really nice. I need to go ahead and block this part off right here. So I'm gonna get some paper and cut out a template and I'm sure it's gonna take me a few tries to get it right. So we'll see how it goes. So this is kind of that one part that you really do not want any leaks on. I mean, if there's leaks on the boat, it's it's honestly fine because you have bilge pumps that can pump the water out. You know, there's gun there's bound to be some leaks, but a leak on this thing is basically equivalent of losing horsepower. So here, as you can see, I got that uh, piece cut out and I'm welding this thing from the inside and outside just to maximize uh, strength. And I'm doing the, the inside first and then I'm going to do the outside, which is the more aesthetic, uh, aesthetic piece uh, or I should say aesthetic welds. So yeah, looks pretty good.
Well guys, everything was going good until I realized I screwed up. So, this uh, end flange right here, I angled it too much upwards. And if you compare it to this one, you know, this one is basically at 90 degrees. So, what that would mean is that we would have issues with our drive shaft alignment. So, instead of sitting like this, it would sit like this. Um, so, that would probably cause some issues down the line. Although, I'm sure we could probably weld it in like this. And it would probably be fine, but... I don't know, the perfectionist in me wants to cut this flange off, so I cut a new one here, and we're going to fix this, but uh, yeah, we'll just have to see how much uh, material we have there to weld. This is what's going to hold a carbon seal and it's going to slide on right there. Um, but before I weld it on, I'm going to verify the position of this drive shaft by mounting the pump on and making sure it's straight. And then I'm going to weld this tube on. I was getting a lot of contamination welding this thing, which didn't really create the best outcome, unfortunately. And I really guess it boils down to me using this uh, lubricant um, because you have to keep that the jigsaw blades lubricated for it to cut and and all that stuff just seeped into the pores Alright guys, so here is the jet intake, jet drive finished. Well, not really. We still have to build an intake grate for it and then chop this tube uh, at the right length and then it'll be ready to weld into the boat. But uh, it should be watertight. So, yeah, that's that. So, stay tuned for part four where I weld this thing into the hole and I'm going to have Peter come out here and just make sure I don't screw up. Uh, he just make sure he supervises me. But uh, yeah, with that being said, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the progress in this video. As you've seen, uh, yeah, the views aren't so great. So I'm going to take a break on this thing. And I'm actually starting a few new builds here pretty soon. So yeah, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed. I have to catch you in the next one. Stay tuned and peace. Well, guys, I got some Hayabusa parts in here from a subscriber. Go fast parts. Um, but these are not for the boat. This is for something. Because I would rather build a go-kart out of this right here.
it's all it, it's all in a million pieces. So we got the jug, the jugs here. This looks really good. Okay, so we got a bunch of transmission parts in here and the bolts. There. Uh, the valve cover is cracked. That's no good. And here is the Hayabusa engine. So this right here mostly is what I'm after. These are the forged pistons. They only have like two hours on them.